All right, so I'm gonna do a quick test of active track on the Mavic Pro. We've got uh, what? TJ and and Zach over here. Say hi, guys. They're, they're distracted. Don't worry about it. We're gonna have the copter track them, but we're gonna track um, both the or well probably just TJ with two copters at the same time. All right. So we got the Mavic. We're gonna put that in the air. Here's the Mavic. Fold that out so everybody can see. Boom. Boom. Booyah, booyah. I'm gonna switch this battery. Um, and but before I do all that, let me set up the P4 because it's a little tedious. At least it feels tedious now because I've been messing with that and it's so much easier to like just spring it out. The propellers are already on compared to this. I'm gonna go ahead and let this start up. Put it out here. Start up our controller. The app's running. Let that get some signal um, while I try to get this Mavic set up on my tablet, which is a NVIDIA Shield. All right, there's a port under here that you can use to uh, uh, use for connecting other devices that cannot fit into the holder here and this will not fit in here no matter how wide i put it so uh this is my makeshift um launch pad trying to get it off the dirt i'm gonna move this p4 over there so i'm gonna take off with the p4 the phantom 4 and uh i'm gonna put it in the air and then let zach be able to hit the pause button which is right here just in case anything goes haywire. All right, so if it starts, if I say pause, you hit that button, all right? So, fire in the hole. Right, make sure everything is defined, make sure it's hovering correctly. Just a little bit, but we've got 16 satellites, so we should be stationary soon. So I'm gonna bring it over here, away from us, and uh, set this one over here. Alright, PJ, so you go about there, just a little bit out forward, I'm going to hold this. Remember, the pause button is here, don't try to touch the stick, okay? So we're going to track TJ. What you do, what we're going to do is uh, get into the flight modes, which essentially are here. And uh, there's an active track right there. So what we're going to do is pan down and select them, like so. Yeah, it's tracking them now. Mm -hmm. All right, so we have TJ locked in. So we're recording on the Mavic. We bring that in the air, fire in the hole. All right, here we go. Bring this up. Make sure it's not drifting. There's that altitude thing I'm talking about. It seems like it's dropping a little bit. I'm going to see if my hands off the stick. How it will react. I'm not touching it, but it's dropping just a little bit. Um, but either way, that's not what we're testing today, so I'm going to go ahead and re bring this in the air on the other side of TJ. It's going to go in the same thing, set up the intelligent settings here. This just says allow, and I'm going to go to active track again. Let's pan down, and there's TJ. Ooh, these settings, but this uh, gimbal is a little twitchy, a little fast. I still have the dome on the, on the, on the uh, Maverick, so it might look a little cloudy. All right, so it's got them in, in, in its sights. Let's turn on the ability for it to back up in the settings to go backwards, all right? I want them to be on different heights, so I'm going to make sure the Mavic's a little bit lower than the Phantom, so just in case they kind of go in the same path, one won't crash into the other. All right, so we're going to hit record here, and then what we're going to do is make sure this one has the ability to back up. backwards okay remember to pause button if i yell at you all right so here we go we're gonna hit go so now it's fully tracking him and that's gonna hit go on this or okay now it's fully tracking him right here and it's descending for some reason as you can all right i want you to walk towards walk this way straight line and see if it tracks 
Alright, so both of them are following him. That one's going backwards, and we've got the Mavic following him from behind. Alright, stop! Go turn around and walk back to this one. Alright, So we're not touching anything. We're still just following it. And they're both just following him. Alright, doing good. Wait, I think, did, you, did this lose him? I think it did. So I think the, the Phantom 4 already messed up. You can stop. The Phantom 4 already messed up a little bit. I mean, it already lost him. You hit it? Okay. Okay, we've got to try this over. There's a chance our operator might have hit pause. But it's all good. You're nervous, a good nervous. You hit pause. When you said stop, I thought you said stop. Oh, you, th oh, you thought I said, when I said stop, I meant TJ to stop, not you. But it's all good. Let's bring the Mavic a little closer in. Alright, so we're going to try this over. 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 Alright, so we're going to try this over
Let's see how they act. Get ready, just in case I yell pause. Just get ready, just in case. Did you see it lose track? Hit yeah. pause, hit it. Okay. So it lost the P T4 lost track the second he went past that tree, right? It's about that. So it, it kind of did, but the, the uh, Mavic is still tracking him. It's still going. Still backing up when he comes back. Alrighty guys, so that was all fun and games, but what did we learn from this? Um, most of you would probably say nothing. Well, that's nice and dandy, but for me, what I did learn is that the Mavic is a little more on point, I'll say, with Active Track. Um, the Phantom 4, from what I've seen it in the video and previously, likes to give the object some time to actually get to a distance away before it decides to follow that said item. Um, it's as if there's a delay with the P4 noticing that the object it's tracking has already moved. So what ends up happening is the object will move, then the P4 moves. The object moves again, P4 moves. It can cause what, what I think is what happened when the, when TJ decided to jump with the board. It assumed he was going somewhere and then it tried to catch him and it essentially overshot what it was, uh, what it was actually aiming for. So there was definitely less of that with the Mavic. It looks like it's more in tune and once you move it's moving and it's not trying to overdo um, the tracking or, or I would say predictive tracking that I think the Phantom 4 is trying to do. I mean, it is a newer copter. They most likely refined um, everything. And there is some new hardware apparently in there from that company that they're working with to do tracking. All in all, I'll give the win to the Mavic. Um, doesn't mean the Phantom 4 is, is worse in active track mode. Just from this test, it seems to be better. Um, I'm going to continue to do a little bit more testing. I'm not done. That was really more for fun because both batteries are charged and I'm trying to figure out a way to run them down at that time and I thought oh active track so I'll test some other features um, I just want to get an idea feel for the Mavic um, over a couple of days before I give it a you know verdict on how I feel about it overall um, there's a lot of people asking me that I know personally and I'm guessing since people that I know that look to me for information or asking me about what I think about the Mavic. I'm pretty sure there's a ton of you guys out there that either are waiting on one or thinking about getting one or I don't know, you just maybe your first drone, you're not sure if you should get a drone and what drone to get. You're you're trying to find out what to get. I don't want to make a bad recommendation and tell anyone, look, the Mavic is the greatest thing ever. To me, I would have recommended a Phantom 4 to any first time flyer. Of course it's not the one they should probably exactly learn how to fully fly on. They should probably learn on a small mini drone, but that copter itself, if they wanted to get something, one copter to learn everything on, every sort of everything, I would have recommended the Phantom 4 and maybe a small tiny drone from Amazon just to learn in the house and get a feel for not having GPS because when you don't have GPS, that's when we know if you can fly. Or I should say when we don't really have self-leveling and GPS is what we know that if you can fly but in the world that we're in now we have self-leveling and we have GPS so it's kind of one of those things where I have to recommend what I know the people want and they can learn on the same time and I would say the Phantom 4 is it but maybe later on this week I'll be telling you it's the Mavic so sorry for all that talking in a long video but thank you for watching if you made it to the end I appreciate it more is coming subscribe hit like Everything a YouTuber would say. Um, did my computer just go to sleep? Yeah, it did. Uh, yeah, so thumbs up. Tell me what you think. Tell me what you want to see. Um, and I'll catch you guys next time. Leave a comment below. Peace. Don't know why I wave my hands a lot. That's also weird. It's like I'm trying to signal a plane or something. Boop, 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 boop. Damn. Okay, that was weird. Anyway, thank you. Stay tuned for more. If you made it this far, 
I don't know how you kept watching this ugly ass face, but I appreciate it. You special. You loyal. You the best. Who?